Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS video. We get new trial, okay, and it, it is fixed party trials, and I think it's kind of interesting. So if you get stuck, let me help you a little bit, okay, but I warn you, okay, this guide may be not 100% because sometimes the boss unleashes powerful attack and yeah, sometimes I also die and I don't understand why. And yes, I really don't know about the attack pattern, but I have tried this strategy multiple times, about five times, and it works flawlessly. Okay, so let's begin. I will explain it more detailed on the battle. So on the first turn, like you can see that, yes, the party, you have Adventure Log as your breaker, and the boss is also vulnerable to all stats break. So it is obvious, Mira is your buffer and healer, and your attacker is White Lily, Dark Fina, and Magitek Warrior Terra. Sacred Shield Charlotte is of course your tanker. And if you take a look on the missions, clear without an ally being KO, it is not that hard. And No Limit Burst, again, it is not that hard, but that will make you have a little bit tight timing because Magitek Terra only has access to uh, quad cast without LB is only one turn okay let me show you that yeah her access is only this complete magical activation so on only one turn so yeah you cannot use her LB so to do all missions complete you need to have quad cast and you need to time that really well Okay, and actually it, it may be not important because you don't need to Obama this, it only requires 5 energy, so yeah, enough to chat and not important thing, let's begin. So for first turn, Sacred Shield Charlotte gonna use AoE magic cover, and here is the most important thing is triple dagger. Maybe you ask me why you don't use 70% break, let me tell you that this boss has a little nasty physical attack. Okay, so I think it's better for you to use Hazy Step to give your party evasion, physical evasion. And for break, you can still break the boss using this Power Hunt and Magic Hunt. Magic Hunt is also good because it gives your party. Let me show you. It gives your party reduced magic damage. That's really awesome. Okay, and for Mira, it is obvious she's a buffer. So let's just intro, and you don't need to worry about elements or stats break. Okay, because on the previous battle, I don't think this creature deal that those kind of things. So I think the first important thing is intro for buffing, and the second important thing is this. Roaring Crowd because this gonna gives your party 30% damage mitigation which is really really important and that's it for defensive strategy. For widely Dark Fina, what you want to use is Triple Dark Power of course and use Doom Impact. Why you use Doom Impact? It is because Doom Impact gonna increase your damage the I mean Red Demise. Okay, I use Fire Element because Magic Tech Terra also has Fire Element. So they will do Elemental Chain. Okay, Red Demise. It is really important to use it on the early part because, um, yes, it is stacking ability. And for Magic Tech Terra, I won't use Quadruple Magic Tech. So her. Chaos Flare 2 gonna chain perfectly. If you use quadruple chain, oh my god, wrong button. I mean, if you use quadruple chain, then the chaining gonna be messed up. And yeah, this is my stupidity, okay? Mess up chaining, but it's okay. The strategy, the strategy won't be changed. 
On second turn, still use Mira to buff interlude, and let's give our party barrier for luck. Because we use Magical Taker, use Double Dagger, has his tap, and again, not again actually, use Spirit Break to increase White Lily, Dark Fina, and Magitek for your Terra damage output. For Sacred to Charlotte, use Attract Wall, and for White Lily, Dark Fina, use Triple Dark Power. This is really important. Use End of Paradise, this is gonna enable Quadcast on the next turn and also imperil the enemy fire resist greatly and use Red Demise to increase the damage stack mechanism. For Magitek Warrior Terra, you want to use Triple Magitek, again complete magical activation on the first action. So with this, your Chaos Flare gonna chain well with White Lily Dark Fina. So let's begin. Attack. Okay. It will deal lots of damage. Okay, 60, 62%. And on the next turn, we can end this battle. And like you can see, my party survived. Okay, without using any limit burst or whatever. So yeah, maybe the 65 chains is the hardest missions on this challenge, okay? Because yes, you need to use quad cast, red demise, quadruple magic attack, chaos flare 2, and this is really important. If you fail on this, simply do the challenge again, it is obvious. Because really guys, the... Yeah, maybe you will mess up your chaining and that's okay. And... To increase the chain count, you will gonna use normal attack. Because Quad... Quad Chaos Wave Awaken gonna deal only about 60 chains, so it won't be up to 65, so you need to get another additional attack from other characters. I have tried using Bolting Strike and Stardust Ray, Aurel Ray, those moves cancel the Chaos Wave chaining. The best way I found is by using normal attack. So let me show you, but if I fail, trust me, I have done this on the previous video and succeed. Okay, so tap tap. Yeah, the animation is kind of long, so you don't need to tap quickly. Simply tap one character after another. Okay, like you can see that I reached 71 chains. And he gonna use Broken Mind and dead on the next turn. And yes, that's it. How you clear this first fixed party trial. The next party trial, I haven't found the easy way to defeat it because I focus on creating easy to follow guide for this boss. Okay, maybe I will make it tomorrow. Okay, but yeah, the rewards, I must say the rewards are pretty good. And like you can see, you get 5 stars guaranteed axe ticket, 500 lapis, whoa, that's a lot. 10 plus 1 summon ticket, very nice and trust Moogle. So make sure you do this trial. Actually, this has this uh, strategy, but I haven't read that. And there's also rewards section on this event. Maybe it requires you to keep, the, yeah, simply keep doing the trial and maybe you will unlock it. Not sure, but yes, total clear. I'm not sure what these numbers are based on but yeah the point is simply clear the trials over and over until you get all the rewards okay so i hope this guide helps you but again before ending this video i know you want to see my poll wait 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 it's connecting oh my god i forgot i haven't 
taken the rewards. So let's claim the reward. I won't use my 10 plus 1, okay, because I'm just too lazy to clear the hero inventory. So yeah, I will do that later in the future. But for now, I only do the 5 stars X summon ticket. So let's see what I get from the challenge. Tada! Please give me something good. On the past, I don't. I got a toning dragon cane, etc. So annoying. Maybe give me white lily Darkfina. Who knows? I accept that. Let's see who's gonna come up. Another Nagi. Oh my god! I have three Nagi now. But it's okay. Her STMR is nice, so I don't mind to get another Nagi in the future. Okay. So, yes, that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. Push the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Bye bye guys.